Hi, I'm Cindy from cindyleekennedy.com and fussfreegluteandfree.com and that's my wrist. <laughs> um, today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make a really really delicious dairy free chocolate ice cream. Now this is so easy to make, my daughter actually came up with this recipe so anyone can do it. So we start by getting a couple of bananas, I've got three here and just slicing them into rounds about that thick and then we lay them out on a baking tray that I've lined with some baking paper. Next we're going to pop them in the freezer. So the reason that I put them um, on some baking paper and not straight onto the tray is because if you put them straight on the tray and then freeze them, a lot of the time they'll stick and it can be really hard to get them off the tray. So by putting the paper down first, they peel straight off and it's a piece of cake. So I'm going to pop these in the freezer and then I'll come back and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so we've got all of our frozen banana pieces here. So all we do now is just pop them straight into your food processor or a high power blender. Pop them off and as you can see they come off the paper really easily whereas if we hadn't put the paper down they tend to stick to the tray and it can be really really hard to get them off. So we just pop them all in there. Oops. Without throwing them on myself if I can. I do usually about a tablespoon of raw cacao powder and that's dairy free so you don't have to worry about that one and about a heap teaspoon of honey you don't need too much because the bananas are already quite sweet the honey honey is just beautiful with bananas I really like them together so I pop that in there like that okay and then all we do is put the lid on and blitz it up and you'll actually hear the sound change when it goes from big chunks to a smooth creamy texture. Seriously, how quick and easy is that? So I'll grab a scoop. Here we go, yum. Into the bowl. And dig in. Mmm, that is so good. It's really thick and creamy. And oh, that is just delicious. Mm -mm. You can really taste the chocolate in there as well, and a bit of the banana. And I love chocolate and banana together. One of the things I really like about this, I've made lots of ice cream the traditional way, and it takes ages because you have to make a custard first, then you have to cool it, then you have to churn it, and it's like a whole day affair. But this. Honestly, it takes two minutes to slice a banana up, pop it in the freezer, and then it took us, what, another two minutes to throw it all together. And then it, there you have beautiful, creamy chocolate ice cream. So give it a go, and I'll see you next time. Bye.